These are the top 10 guns in Pavlov, in my opinion. Thanks to Switchblade for the idea. Number 10. Alright, coming in at number 10 is going to be the P90. The reason it's at number 10 is mainly because of the recoil, the fire spread, and how you load it. But first of all, let me show you the fire spread. I'm going to aim directly in the middle. Full auto, no stop. So I was using the sights aiming at the middle, and you can see there's like a half foot uh, distance between the actual barrel and the iron sight. So I didn't even get in the middle. I mainly shot on the ground and stuff, so yeah. And now the reloading. It's very weird. You have to grab it from the top, pull it out, and grab another one, push it back in. Either side, you could pull it in. I don't know. It's just very weird. Also, the way you hold it, you don't have much space in between both your hands, and you kind of got to, like, compact it to your body. It's more like a pistol that you use with two hands. That's full auto. Number nine. Up next is the Deagle. The Deagle is an amazing gun up close in TTT or something like that. But if you're trying to use it in TDM or SND, it's just not really going to work out. The reason I say that is because there is a lot of recoil. There's also about seven to eight shots, which is not that much for a pistol, but it's one shot to the head kills them immediately. And for the love of God, do not shoot this thing one-handed. Reloading is just like any other pistol, except it's a huge gun. So yeah, that's the Deagle. Number eight. Up next is the Mini Uzi. With this gun, I don't really hate it, but I don't really love it either. The reason I say this is because, well, it shoots really fast. But also, like the P90, the way you hold it is also very weird. It's more like an automatic pistol. And also, the fire spread is very weird. So I'm going to stand here and aim straight out the middle with the iron sights. So as you can see, with the recoil and fire spread, it hit the middle one time. <laughs> one time so i guess this gun could be pretty good if you're like i don't know trying to storm inside a building or something you know not really good for anything else besides like close combat and stuff number seven next up is the beloved m4 i know a lot of you are gonna hate me for this but i have to rank it at number seven i know it shoots fast there's not a lot of recoil reloading is good so I listed all the good things about the gun, but now you're probably thinking, why is it ranked at number 7 if it's so good? The reason it's at number 7 is because literally every single person I see in TDM uses this gun right here. Back in old Pavlov and Pavlov Shack, this gun used to be amazing, but now literally everybody uses it, so it's not even fun anymore because it's so overused. And yeah, that's that's basically it. That's why it's ranked at 7. If this video was made like 5, 4 months ago or something, it would have been ranked higher, maybe in top 3. Number 6. Okay, now the SKS. At first, I thought this was a terrible gun and I would never use it in my life, but after seeing someone put a laser on it, it 100% changed my mind. Now let me just show you why. So yeah, as you saw, this gun is very accurate with a laser. You're probably thinking that with about like every other gun that has a laser on it, but this gun has about the same power as this gun, the hunting rifle. And if you didn't know, these bullets are pretty strong. So if you hit somebody in the head with this, it will one-shot them immediately. So let's just say you're camping above the stairs in OG containers in CDM or something, and you have this thing with a laser and a suppressor. Someone's walking up, you can just boom, 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 boom. And yes, I know the reloading is very weird. You have to slide it in, cog it back, and then yeah, there's not really a mag or anything. But when you get pretty good with this gun, it's over for other people, and it becomes really lethal. Number five. Now moving on to the Barrett. This thing shoots a bullet the size of my hand. I don't have much to say about this gun, but it's not good or bad. But when you do put a scope on this thing, from long ranges, it could be really deadly. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say about this gun, but I recommend it. Number four. Now we got the Chris Vector. I used to never really like this gun until I played TTT on Pavlov Shack. The reason I say this is because if you play TTT as a detective on Pavlov, you're able to buy the Chris Vector with all the attachments. And when you have all the attachments on the Chris Vector in TTT, this gun is absolutely insane. First of all, look how fast it shoots. That's like 8,000 rounds in a millisecond. And the only downside that I could really say about this gun is that the way you cock it, it's on the side and you have to like pull it out and then, you know, it's like a normal slide, but it's just, I don't know. The gun's pretty ugly and it's just, yeah, it, it, it shoots great though. Barely any recoil also. If you saw my last video about Veil VR, I said that I'm not a reviewer, so if I'm kind of bad at reviewing these things, then I'm sorry. Number three. Next up is the Saiga 12. I have no clue how to say it. I should have looked it up before I made this video, but I think that's how you say it. Saiga 12. 
This is a full auto shotgun with a drum mag. Let me just show you how this thing shoots. Now you can't see the target. So now you probably understand why this is ranked so high. Number two. Number nine is the AK-47. So there's a lot of bad things about the AK-47. Like the only attachment you could get is a suppressor. And it's one of the most recoil heavy guns in the game. And the mag looks a little weird, but that doesn't matter. But besides that, this thing packs a punch. I don't know why, but when I use this thing in OG Containers TDM, it goes absolutely insane. I get so many headshots with this gun, and I just love it. But the reason that's not at number one is because there's a gun even better than this. Number one, the Galil, or the Galil, I don't know. Now you probably think this is just an old, bad gun that nobody uses, but this thing is very, very underrated. Before I made this video, while I was ranking the guns, I was gonna put this as number two, but when I used it more in-game, when I was recording footage for it, I changed my mind and decided to put it at one. And the AK-47 was originally gonna be at number one, but now it's the Galil. Here's why, this thing has barely any recoil. And if you know how to kind of control recoil, then there's like none at all. The magazine holds about 36 bullets at max, if I remember correctly. You could also load it like an AK-47. Slide on the right, and a mag, obviously. And also, unlike the AK-47, you could put a sight on this and a suppressor. It's basically like an M4 and an AK-47 combined. So this is the best gun in Pavlov, in my opinion. Honorable mentions, the MP5. I don't have much to say about the MP5, but you know, it's cool. It's got auto fire, it's got burst, it's got single fire. Doesn't have too much recoil. It's got a lot of attachments, you could adjust the stock. I don't really like the mag size because sometimes it's a little hard to grab and reload and stuff. What's cool about the reloading though is you could put a mag in and slap the slide like that and it will load. Next up is the sawed off shotgun. When you're up close with someone and they pull out a gun or something, you could just and they'll be gone. One shot to the head with this will literally make their head explode. One or two shots to the body will, I think, split them in half. I think it's two. This thing has some of the most recoil in the game, two hands or one hand. And a kind of crappy thing about this gun is when you shoot it one-handed, it has less recoil than two-handed. This is one-handed and this is two-handed. As you can see, the two-handed went a little bit higher than one-handed, so I just find that a little weird. And it only shoots two shots, takes a little while to reload, but it's a cool gun when you really need one. Now the last gun on the list is the M249. If I'm being honest, it's not as good as it looks. It has way too much recoil, it overheats at the barrel, it just doesn't do that much damage really. Like watch this. See that? It's overheating and you can't shoot until it un unneats, I guess? I don't know. And sure, shoots 100 shots. Takes a long time to reload though. As you can see, it's an alright gun. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. So that was my personal top 10 best guns in Pavlov. Maybe one of my next videos will be my top 10 best World War II guns in Pavlov. I don't know though, I guess you'll have to wait. And I'll see you in the next one, peace.